What's up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So about a week ago I mentioned I was going to start making videos about bikes that are for sale in Japan on Yahoo Auctions, which is Japan's answer to eBay. So today is going to be that first video and today the bikes I'm going to focus on are bikes I'm particularly interested in because as I mentioned I'm looking for a new bike that's more suitable for track use. So today I'm going to be looking at bikes from the late 90s and the early noughties that are sports bikes. But if that's something you're not interested in, then leave me a comment down below and say what bike you want me to make a video on. If you're only interested in a cruiser video, or you're only interested in off-road bikes, or 250s only, or 400s only, whatever it is, just leave a comment below and I'll make a video for you. So, without further ado, let's get on the laptop. Right, so this is the homepage of Yahoo Auctions. So to use it, um, what you need to do is click on this where it says Yahoo Auk Top. So Yahoo Auction Top, Yahoo, they say Yahoo, but obviously we know it's Yahoo. So I won't go into a lesson on how to use that. You can sort of, you'll have to do a bit of trial and error yourself, but basically this, where it says here, this is category. So this top category is cars, used cars, new cars, or bikes. So we want to scroll over to the right here where it says auto buy, which means bike. And then scroll down to this one, which is auto buy hontai, which means actual bikes, not parts or um, wreckers or anything like that. So on the left side here, you'll see the, the maker names. So we've got Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki, Kawasaki, and then well, all the makes are down there too. So we got uh, BMW, Ducati, Aprilia, everything's in there. And the ones that are not so popular will be right at the bottom on this one, which is Sonota, which just means like others. And this one here is um, bike like crash bikes. So you can either buy the bike as a whole as a crash bike, or, or they'll specify in the advert that you can buy the forks if you want, the wheels if you want, and you have to contact them and tell them what part you want. So it's listed as well in under 50 cc, 50 to 125, 125 to 250, 250 to 400, 400 to 750, and then anything over 750 cc. So I've actually got all the bikes I want to look at today saved in my watch list, which is this thing here, Watchy, Watchy. So we'll click on that. And I've got them in order of cheapness. So right at the minute, the top bike, the bike right at the top, the cheapest one I found of any interest was this ZX9R. So we'll have a look at that. It was actually a 1 yen start. He started off this auction as 1 yen, and it's got 40 bids so far, and it's gone up to 94,000 yen. So what price it will end for, I do not know. But, so this bike was sort of in a bit, I was kind of interested in it. Obviously, you can see the fairing here it's been thrown down the road and then when I started looking a bit closer I realized it's probably been thrown down the track rather than the road so it's got brand new made in China I guess um, rear sets because he broke the other ones when he crashed it uh, the right side of the engine case has got scratches on it the fairings all fucked up here um, so it's a fixer-upper, I guess. Whether the frame is damaged uh, or not, I do not know. And it's obviously it's going to be impossible to tell that from photos. He's got a GoPro mount here on his fuel tank, so he was obviously a bit of a ledge on the track until he crashed. Um, so yeah, this one just came to my attention. I was I just was thinking it'd be worth buying it for say like 150,000 yen maximum. Like just set your own limit so that's what I want to pay I don't want to go over and then buy yourself a set of fairings from AliExpress or whatever for like three four hundred bucks you can either get them painted over in China or you can just buy the unpainted ones get them, you know take them to your local shop and paint them uh, spend a bit of money replacing gaskets maybe overhaul the carbs um, you know you might need a new chain for it so there's you might need new pads for it so I just thought this could be a bit of a good project bike with someone or just basically a bit of a fixer-upper if you want a track bike as well and just maybe just ride it as it is and whatever. But um, yeah, so the bodywork is all tatty and horrible and stuff but you can see it's got S22Rs on it which are good good tyres. So obviously the guy's more interested in performance than looks I guess. So yeah, I kind of like that. Um, 
So we look down, scroll down through the advert. Um, it actually ends tonight, so it'll be interesting to see how much it goes for. So it's got 49,400 kilometers in total. Um, he says he said the, the idling's good on it and the engine revs smoothly. And then he just goes on to say, look, it's a used bike and it's got lots of uh, Kizu scratches and Sabi, which is rust. Uh, imasa, imasa, he says, it has them, but uh, there's no problems riding it, he says. So overall, the, the overall condition of the bike is poor to look at, but it runs and it rides fine. Um, and it's got aftermarket uh, handlebars. Um, and he goes on to say, it's cool and it's custom. Oh, he's got a video. He's got a YouTube video. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at his video. Hmm. Yeah, so it's pretty obvious it's a tatty old bike. No doubt about that. But with a bit of love, it would actually be a pretty cool bike, I reckon. Devil exhaust, it's totally faded from the sun. Chain, chain sprockets look nice. Ooh, it seems, it seems like, like he described it as well. It seems like it. Whoa, what is that clutch lever? That is super gay. The only thing I don't like about this bike is. Ooh. Ooh, sounds alright. Anyway, that's enough of that. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this air, this era of bike or this generation is it doesn't have upside down forks. I don't know. There's something about conventional forks that just doesn't appeal to me. It's just not sexy, is it? All right. So one Kawasaki. Let's go on to another Kawasaki. So we've got another ZX9R, but the generation after that one. So this one, I guess, is an injection model. Looks to be in nice condition. Nice paint. The exhaust isn't all bent and scratched by the looks of things. Looks to be a decent bike. And this one again, the buy it now price is 350,000 yen, which is pretty damn good, I reckon. Uh, yeah, seems like a nice clean bike. The top uh, triple tree, the top yokes are all, you know, not scratched or paint's not f fading off or anything, peeling off or anything. So this is a nice looking bike, in my opinion. Um, now this, I, when I was looking at these pictures, I recognised the um, the place where the picture's taken because this guy was actually selling a SRAD that I was interested in. So what we'll do is this is the the username of the guy TAC three eight eight eight, and if you click here, you can see all his other auctions that are running at the moment. And if you look at that, he's sold two thousand three hundred sixty eight items. And he's got 99.2% positive feedback. So I would say this is a trustworthy guy. So this is all the bikes he's got for sale. It says here, 35. He's got 35 bikes for sale right now. Some instrument. Oh, Jigs are 750. Nice. Look at that. That's a decent price too. Let's have a quick look at that. Jigs are 750. Doesn't have a buy it now price, so that's a bit... You, you, no way of telling how much it's going to go for, but starting price of 495,000 yen, which is pretty good, I reckon. What, how many miles has it got on it? How many kilometers have you got on you? This guy is good as well, because he always takes nice, clear pictures. And to be honest, there are a lot of people who use Yahoo Auctions to sell stuff who are absolutely useless at taking fit pictures and useless at just giving you any information. It will just say like, it's a nice bike, it wa it runs fine, I have the paperwork for it, and that's it. Like, who in their right mind is gonna just risk spending, you know, like $10,000 on a bike that they they that maybe don't have a chance to go and see in person because it's too far away, and just take this guy's word for it. It's a nice bike, yeah, okay, okay, mate. And then these kind of morons wonder why they don't actually sell anything. So, where's the info about the bike? So yeah, it's, uh, tires are all good, he's saying. The engine starts fine, it revs fine. Uh, it's got some stuff like radial, uh, brake master cylinder, USB charger, 
ETC, the highway um, toll toll booth payment thing. Uh, clutch holder, light tech clutch holder, DID gold chain, LED position light, Marichiba. What the hell's that? Marichiba. I don't know. Bar and mirror. So it's got quite a lot of kilometers though, 48,000 Ks. So I'll probably give that one a miss. Anyway, back to my watch list. Right, so we've done two Quackers now and a Suzuki. I wanted to show you a Italian bike. So we've got here a MV Augusta Brutale 910S. So in Japan, foreign bikes, when they get old, people become scared of them because they're sure that it's gonna break down. Uh, they're not gonna be able to get parts for it. It's gonna be expensive to repair and so the price of uh, especially Italian bikes just just plummets. So you know, if you imagine a MV Augusta Brutale, brand new bike, it's gonna be like at least twenty thousand dollars back in the day. And so he's selling this for a buy it now price of five hundred thousand yen, which I think is a freaking bargain. Um, depending on the mileage, of course, but it looks kind of tidy. Looks like it's well looked after. It's, Alcantara seat and it doesn't look to be too um, chewed up or faded or worn or whatever. No pitting on the forks. Carbon's a bit rough but carbon always ends up being like that. And what's this? Is this a fork leak? Is this just Maybe that's just a shadow. Um, but again, yeah, it's tricky buying bikes when you don't get to see them in person. So yeah, this one's only got 25,000 kilometers on the clocks and he says here um, uh, he's still riding it so it could go up, the mileage could go up he's saying, it's just like a little friendly warning. So it's 2006 model, he's got two keys, like I say, it's got the spare key, uh, LED indicators, LED headlight bulb, um, STM clutch release bearing, Yada yada yada. So it's got quite a few good things on it. Tires, uh, eight minutes of tire. So that I think that just tire no yama, basically just means like tire um, tread. So it's still got plenty of tread, is what he's saying. Uh, battery is also good. It's a Yuasa battery. Uh, made in Taiwan. <laughs> he's saying it's a Taiwanese battery, but it's it's Genki. It's still good. So he's kind of warning you that the battery is not made in Japan <laughs> so yeah that, that seems like a decent decent bike for the money right so let's go on to something outrageous that I found what we have here ladies and gentlemen is an RC45 1996 model full power edition European specification uh, Honda racing exhaust and uh, step and radiator and March Marke Ah, Marchesini wheels, uh, Pensk suspension, lots of carbon bits on it, blah blah blah. But the price, including tax, is 6.4 million yen, which is crazy. But the crazy thing about this bike is it's such a sought after bike that I'm sure some collector somewhere will want this. And uh, what a good old boy, he's written it all in English. So yeah, Marchesini, I always have trouble saying that. So he's got a list of all the parts that fit on the bike, custom carbon fiber, full racing exhaust from Honda HRC. So one thing that you'll see, see here it says full power EU specification. Um, if I, I'll show you another bike here that will say the same thing, where is it? Yeah, so that ZX9 that we just looked at before, it says at the top here, Malaysia Shio, Malaysia specification. Now why they make a point of that is is because Japanese big power bikes tend to be restricted um, you know because of the stupid laws that I don't think they exist anymore but the stupid laws that we used to have here um, restricting power on bikes and cars so you might see um, for example this ZX10R you might see this and think wow that's a bargain that's a great bike to get and this guy says here it's a fuel injection bike um, but this bike probably would have been restricted um, so even though it's a ZX10R which you would assume has like you know 180 horsepower super duper fast bike you might 
find that it's only got 100 horsepower. Now my CBR 600 RR was the same. It had restrictor plates in the injectors, in the RAM air intakes, and the ECU was different. So I had to change all those things just to get it to be a full powered 600, which was a pain in the ass. So this one I thought was kind of interesting. It looks to be in good shape. The body itself, like the panels and everything, look really nice. Look, it's got carbon fiber tank guards, the top yokes and all the, the frame and everything look really nice on it. And when you go down to the description, he's written here, in this part here, um, he's basically got nowhere to keep the bike now, so he wants to sell it cheap because he's got nowhere to keep it. So that's why he's saying that this one is going for a, a good price. So hmm, hopefully he's telling the truth, and if so, that is a pretty good, pretty good deal. Right, so let's go over to this Honda. So we've got a CBR929 here, and it says here, half cowl, and that's that, that word again, shio, half fairing specification, basically that means. So something that the Japanese really love doing is removing the lower fairing on sports bikes and sports tourers. Um, I've seen this done a lot on ZZR1100s and ZX12Rs, where they just completely remove the lower fairing. And some of them have a special fairing that goes from here, just just like around the engine a little bit, just just like that kind of shape, just to kind of finish it off and make it look a bit nicer. But that's, uh, yeah, it seems to be a, a real popular trend in Japan, but usually with sports tourists rather than actual sports bikes. So this one's actually ending today. It's got eight hours left. There's no bids on it. The start price is 350,000 yen. No buy it now price. Uh, let's see how many kilometers it's got on it. Okay, well that's why it's got no bids, because this retard has just written, uh, thanks for looking at my auction. Um, I'll upload information later. Uh, well, the auction ends in eight hours, dude, so no one's going to bid on that if they don't know how many kilometers are on it or what condition it's in. So, yeah, that's one of the Yahoo auction users I was telling you about that are not quite with it not good at taking pictures, not good at writing descriptions. Um, now another one that appealed to me, but Jesus it's expensive, is this TRX 850. <clears throat> now it's obviously got a lot of money spent on it. Um, he's got nice exhaust on it, big brakes, uh, oil cooler, He's got a different front fairing on it, which is like an endurance style fairing. It's got a different throttle there, so it may may have carbs on it as well, different carbs. So yeah, twin Yoshimuras, nice um, nice swing arm. Those forks are definitely not stock either, because TRXs didn't have upside downy. So yeah, it's got upgraded forks. Actually, what do the top yokes look like? Show me the top yokes. Show me the top yokes. Yeah, that's not a TRX top yoke. Don't know what that is. Could be a Thunder Ace or something. Um, but yeah, I, I I didn't look at the price on this bike. I just saw it and thought, oh, that's nice. That'll be maybe half a million yen, maybe 500,000 yen. Yeah, 1.5 million. So I think he's dreaming, to be honest. I don't think anyone's going to pay that. But um, yeah, it just shows you what kind of interesting custom bikes you can find. All right, so last one of the day. Um, don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, this is something that I thought would could possibly become one of the modern modern. Well, it's already a modern classic in its own way, but monetary wise, I think this is going to become a definite modern classic. The original Fireblade. So super cool bike. I love these bikes. When I was like a teenager, this was like my wet dream bike. So this price, yeah, 400,000 yen for a you know, buy it now price. Now I reckon, um, now bikes that I work on every day at work, like the old Z1000, Z1, stuff like that, they're insane money now. Really, really insane money, like four million yen for a decent bike. Whereas this blade, that's 10% of the price of a 1970s Kawasaki Z1. Now it's gonna be, there's gonna be a point where people that are say now 40 or something 
And when these bikes were brand new, they were like teenagers, and they used to, you know, read bike magazines in the newsagent and go, "Oh, look at that Fireblade! That's so cool." And then, you know, now they're older and they've got money. They'll start wanting to buy these things as long as they can find, you know, nice, clean, original ones. Now, this bike here, it's got twenty-eight thousand kilometers on it, so that's pretty damn good for the age of the bike. And all the plastic on the clocks look nice, and all that kind of stuff. I mean. I reckon that these bikes are going to go up in price in within the next few years. So, you know, whether you're like me and you just want a, a bike that's good to go on the track and have fun with, or you want to may, maybe make an investment, I reckon buying bikes like this, cleaning them up, making them, uh, you know, like 100% original or as, as close to original as you can, keeping them for a while, and they're going to be worth a lot more money. I reckon you could double your money in like five years on one of these. So yeah, I reckon bikes like this, the price now at that that price, four hundred thousand yen, someone has got to buy that, clean it up, and just keep it and uh, save it for a rainy day to sell it. All right, not the last one. This is the last one because this is one that I'm actually thinking of buying. Check this out, boys. GSX up 1000 K5. Now this is an awesome bike. Now my friend Adam has just bought a brand new Jigsaw, which is obviously a freaking awesome bike. But the K5 has got you know like a special place in people's hearts. And I've never ridden one. I've never even sat on one, but I want one. So I'm really thinking that I might bid on this bike. Got six days left on it, and so far there's no bids, and it's in uh, I think that's Chiba, which is up near Tokyo. So I don't know. It's it's very tempting. It looks super freaking clean. Look at even the chain and sprockets look clean. Calipers are all gorgeous and shiny. The bodywork's nice. I like the color scheme too. And um, yeah, look at that. What do you reckon, boys? Shall I buy it? Very nice, but oh, gold fucking clutch levers. Why do people do that? Gross. But uh, yeah, so I, that's, I think we'll wrap up the video there today with me wanking over old Jixxers. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in a particular genre of bike that you would like me to search for you, then just let me know in the comment section. Mm, look at that, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. Oh. Alright guys, peace. I'll see you in the next video. Mm. Yeah, come to Papa. Yeah. We gonna have so much fun together. Mm. Titanium. It's just titanium. Mm. So let me picture you taken. Yeah, I get it, it's clean. Give me the info.